Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Roosh Report with the man himself, Brendan Roosh. Brendan, how are you? Doing all right, Marvin. How are you doing? Just trying to stay out of trouble. Uh, was goofing off a little bit last week on the water, so I've been digging out today. Nice. Yeah, same here. I uh, haven't spent the last two weeks on the home waters, but uh, looked like we missed some rain, and then we got pounded with rain. Um but yeah, I was up in Canada having some fun, catching some large mouth, some small mouth, a little bit of ditch pickle pike. But it was a great time up there. Yeah, I was going to say, if you picked a time to go out of town during guide season, you probably hit it just about right. Because I would imagine uh, end of last week for sure was a complete washout, right? Yeah, it went up. Uh, everything went up pretty high. Um, still very off color and high right now. And uh Push back the trips for this week. I'll be doing a or helping out at a cleanup on the Delaware with the Delaware River Club and house fly fishing. Um, that's going to be this Friday, Saturday. And looks like we're getting some more rain over the weekend in the South Central PA area. So hopefully it won't be unfishable next week. Yeah, get all the dumpsters and trees out of the river, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll get all the the fresh tires that uh, were rolled in and you know near Hancock or whatever deposit up in New York. Yeah, something to look forward to. And so, if folks wanted to get a little bit more information on the stream cleanup, where should they go? Um, Housefly fishing on Instagram or the Delaware River Club on Instagram. Got it. And uh, so we figured since you've uh, you've been out of the country uh, fishing that you know, maybe a great thing to talk about for folks is, you know, what to expect, you know, as the water drops and becomes fishable again, like how are the fish going to behave? You know, I I assume they're going to come off structure a little bit, but, you know, why don't you share your thoughts on that with our folks? So I think what we're going to be experiencing is a lot of grass pretty much distributed throughout the whole water column uh, for a period of time that like, I don't know how many days it's going to last, but, um, yeah, you're going to be dealing with grass on the banks for sure. And then they, it kind of like stacks up and starts to die off. And this is just from like big blowouts and this time of year in the past. Um, so I think, yeah, I mean, fishing, the usual stuff that I talk about, like that first drop, that can drop in the middle. Um, just if, if there's grass on top, not fishing top water, trying to get down below the grass, maybe dead drifting with some twitches with a crayfish or uh, a little, little bit bigger bait fish pattern if the water's still off color. Uh, got it. And then, of course, I guess maybe opt to fish more towards the middle of the river if there's a bunch of junk on the edges, right? Yeah, just like, you know, either you know or you find where the first and second drop are or fish. Um, you know, bottom structure off the banks. I'm just picturing like a few years ago, there's just so much grass stacked up on the banks from a big storm. Like we just had this time of year. And it's just like, I don't know. Someone was telling me that when the grass gets stacked up like that, just depletes oxygen in those, in those areas. Um, which makes sense, but I don't know. Interesting. So anything in terms of like changes in presentation or fly color, if you're fishing subsurface, I mean, rattles, anything like that you want to share with folks? Yeah, for for stained water, um, you're fishing that drop. I mean, I'd be fishing uh, black for sure. Um, Black and chartreuse, that yellow, pink and orange mixture. Uh, that, That blend seems to work pretty well. And that like brownish green water on the on the greener side of things Uh, just things that are going to be different from the grass that's floating down uh, or in the fall you know sometimes you get leaves uh, tons of leaves in the system so i think just trying to stand out while still imitating something is uh, that's my advice there gotcha and uh, rattles or no rattles uh, corkscrew tails on flies anything like that yeah, I'm a fan of a rattle. Um, they often break, but it always gives me some confidence when a fly has one, especially in dirty conditions. 
Yeah, there you go. And uh, we have only non-serious questions this time. So, uh, <laughs> the, uh, which kind of works out since you haven't been on the water recently, but, um, got a question from Sean and he wants to know if you know what the term yardy means. Yardy, uh, yardy is something you say to your friends, uh, after you say something that they should already know. Got it. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, say, what fly are you going to fish today, Sean? You're going to fish a nymph, and he's going to say yardy because Sean, that's all he does is he nymphs. So, got it. And I didn't even have to ask you to use it in a sentence for me. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah. So uh, I think a tack on that he had he had was uh, something about. Uh, are you familiar with uh, Capri Sun emojis? Yes. Yeah, so that uh, that's a juice box, and then if you stack at least two juice boxes together in a comment or a text, then that means that it's juiced and juice is a good thing. Gotcha. Um, what if you had a juice box and eggplant in a juice box? Uh, that's bordering on dangerous territory. I'm going to leave that one alone. There you go. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, you know, folks, we love questions on the articulate fly. You can email them to us or DM us on social media, whatever is easiest for you. And if we use your question, I will send you some articulate fly swag and then Brendan's got an awesome pack of Roosh uh, angling stuff, log jam stuff, and housefly stuff. So uh, send us your questions, and uh, you know because we love them and it makes the show fun. And uh, Brendan, before I let you go, you want to let folks know kind of how to reach you, what's open on your guide calendar, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, uh, you can reach me at Brendan Roosh on Instagram, Roosh Angling on Facebook, and uh, I have some dates open in the first half of September. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it should be, should be a nice start to the month with all this water we have. Um, I'm looking forward to getting, getting out the end of August here with a stacked schedule of guys that can fish a bug and hopefully we have water for that, but yeah. And it's not crazy hot, right? Yeah. And it's, it's cold off and it's definitely not miserable outside anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like the first half of the summer. Dude, it was hot last week, I'll tell you. Um, and not a dry heat either. Um, well, you know, folks, as I always say, yo to yourself to get out there and catch a few. Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, Brendan. Take care.